Hey there, this is Stacy. Today I'm going to do a haul video of some things that I've gotten here this past week. Um, of course, I was able to sneak out a little bit here and there while my sister and the baby were here, and my husband and I ran some errands, and I ran into Ulta one day, and then yesterday we'd gone to Dallas and went to the mall um, before we went to see Young Frankenstein, so I was able to get some things at the mall like I needed anything, of course, but anyway, I'll get started. Um, actually, I also got some things in the mail, and maybe that's what I'll start with. I had told y'all about the Zoya special that they had going on where you got three free nail polishes, and so my polishes came in the mail, and I got three free, and then I actually had purchased one, another one as well. The first color I got is BB, B-E, B-E is, is how it's spelled, and it's a real pretty just pale pink color with some probably gold shimmers in it. Hopefully you can see it here, me and my lighting issues, just still working through it, trying to decide if I should get a new camera or not. So that's the first color. It's a real pretty color. It's a, it's a light pink with a little bit of a corally tint to it. The next color is called Joe and it's a blue shimmery light blue color, kind of a little bit of a purple tint to that. It was so hard to pick colors. They have over 300 to choose from. The next color is called Adina, and it's a purple color, and it has a, I don't know what color the shimmer is in there. It's its just real iridescent -y. I'm not sure if you can kind of see that or not. And the last color that I got from them is called um, Cherry, C-H-E-R-I, and it is a pink a corally pink color with gold shimmer in it. So there's that color there. Then I also decided I would try one of their lip glosses. And this is the color, it's called Hot Lips Glossy Lip Balm. I don't, yeah, I guess there is a color, Lovey, L-U-V-I-E. And it's just a pink, shimmery, frosty color. Then they also sent the newest collection, which is called Intimate, which I believe is their spring collection of colors. They send a little spoon so you can test and see if the colors are good for your nails, if you know it's a color that you want to purchase, kind of like a try before you buy. So they sent that one this time. And then they also sent this one, which I think I had seen this one already. Maybe I got this one from the stuff that Susie sent me. The color of fashion, I guess, is the these colors here. Some pretty colors. Then I had ordered some spoons and some different colors that I wanted to try. And they custom do these. They send you them for 50 cents a piece and you can just pick some different colors. So there's the ones that I had chosen to look at before I buy. So I got those things. Then let's see. Saturday my husband and I went out for lunch and then I ran into Ulta because I had my 20% off your entire purchase coupon and for the first time ever it included the Bare Minerals or maybe not ever but this time it included it and I got the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Volumizing Mascara which I had gotten a sample of way back when so I thought I'd go ahead and get the full size then I also picked up the Bare Minerals the Rose Radiance it's one of those all over face colors. I guess you use it more as a blush. I actually haven't even opened it yet. I'm not sure if you can see the color there. I think a lot of people have talked about it. It's just a real pretty pink color. I don't want to try to open it now. I'll end up making a big mess everywhere. I got that. Then I got, I don't have it here with me, in the closet. Um, I bought some of the um, bedhead the bedhead shampoo that I always talk about, the Moisture Maniac. So normally it's, I think, 18 to $26 for those quart size bottles. And so I had them on sale for $9.99 and then with my coupon, um, an additional 20% off. So for $8 a bottle, I would end up getting two of the Moisture Maniac shampoos and two of the conditioners since that's my all time favorite shampoo and I waited and waited for it to come on sale. Then I just actually picked up a couple of lipsticks that I didn't need. Uh, this is a matte color, which I wish I had realized when I was there. I don't really love matte colors, but it's a Revlon, and it is called Sky Pink. 
don't know if you can see the color in there. It's all taped up. It's too hard to open here and I'll just be making a mess and a whole bunch of noise. And then the Revlon Soft Nude. Gosh, yeah, I guess this one's taped closed too. I haven't even opened it. But it's that one that comes in that real pretty packaging from Revlon. Just a real soft nude color. Obviously, that's the color, but this probably isn't the exact color of it. It never is. So I picked that up. Then, here's an interesting thing. My husband and I went out for brunch yesterday, and then we went to one of the malls here in Dallas, and we ended up going into the mall through Macy's, and he wanted to go to the men's department. You know, they're always having that big sales there, especially the first of the year. So, of course, I wandered into the makeup while he went upstairs into the men's department, and lo and behold, I couldn't believe my eyes. They had Sue Devitt there. And um, I picked up uh, just a gift for a friend, and then I picked up this lip gloss, and the color is called Talina, T-E-L-I-N-A. It says, Lip Enhancing Gloss with Orchid Extract, the Micro Aquatic. And supposedly, it fil this formulation visibly fills in fine lines and wrinkles, providing smoother, fuller appearance instantly. So, not quite sure if that really works or not. I did use it, and it is a beautiful color. I can't say for sure whether my lips were plumped or not, or my lines were gone, but there's the color. And I put it on a couple times yesterday. It is actually just a gorgeous color. I highly recommend this color. Again, it's called Talina, and if it does what it's supposed to, hey, even more worth it. I don't know how much it was, sorry. Kind of like $20-ish. Then I picked up a gift for a friend, and when I was talking to the girl when I was checking out, she said that Barney's, at our mall anyway, I don't know if it's uh, everywhere, but the Barney's there at that mall, North Park Mall in Dallas, does not have the Sue Devitt anymore. Now Macy's has it. She's, as she put it, was just, they pulled it from Macy's. That line and Chanel used to be at Barney's, and now they're both at Macy's. I don't know what or why, but I was kind of glad. Um, sometimes a place like Barney's can be a little in intimidating to shop in, um, and Macy's sure isn't. So anyway, I got that. Then I also picked up, oh, sorry, trying to get this one open here. I picked up this beautiful blush from Laura Geller. You can see that package. It says sugar-free blush and brighten baked cheek color. And I couldn't resist this color when I saw it. It's called Blush and Brighten in Raspberry. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's a matte, so there's no shimmer in it whatsoever. I'm gonna hold it closer and hope you can see it. I'm gonna hold it farther back and hope you can still see it. But anyway, it is just a gorgeous raspberry color. Just the combination, there's darker pink and lighter pink. There's a little bit of brown in there. And just with that matte finish, I think it will be just beautiful. And of course, I just put a whole bunch there on my hand, but I'm sure you can blend that out and get as much or as little as you want for that cheek color. And it looks great with the Talina lip gloss. Then one other thing I got at the mall, or two other things, were I went into Lush, and just with me and my craziness on the chap lips lately, I bought some of their lip scrubs, and I bought the Sweet Lips one, which is delicious, knockout smell here. It's chocolate, which is one of my favorite things in the world. I haven't used that one yet. I've actually used the other one that I purchased, which is the bubble gum. And I've actually used it a couple times a day. It smells good, it tastes good. Um, everything about it's been wonderful. It's, a, it's really worked well for me. I've used it both yesterday and today, and I highly recommend this if you don't already have it, or perhaps another sugar scrub if you can get your hands on one. It seems to work real well at exfoliating the lips. So, I think that's about it. I have missed YouTube. I'm hoping that I'm finally back now. My sister and her baby left yesterday morning. So we went out for brunch after they left, my husband and I, and went out to brunch and shopping, and then we went to see Young Frankenstein, the musical in Dallas, uh, the Broadway show. It was kind of fun, something different to do, 
and my husband left this evening actually for a trip to Europe. He went there on business. He was going to London, Brussels, and Paris. And I didn't ask him before he left, but I sure am going to talk to him or email him or text him and see if I can get him to run into some drugstores over there and pick me up some makeup. Um, just some different things that probably I've never tried before. As long as he doesn't, he'll probably come home with like Revlon or something that I have already. So kind of funny, but anyway, I'm going to try to ask him to get me a couple different brands that I know that they have over there. And that's it. I have spent the whole weekend in my closet, or I should say not the whole weekend, but the whole weekend in and out of my closet, cleaning my closet out, just getting rid of clothes that, you know, how you, we move our, you know, winter, summer, winter, summer, move it up in the closet to the top and down to the bottom and up to the top and things still have tags on them that I've been moving up and down and up and down and I finally decided to just get rid of it. So I had two big, huge industrial size bags that we gave to the housekeeper today and I still actually have a little bit more to go. Uh, just some cabinets and stuff and I was cleaning through my makeup and getting that a little bit better organized and I will definitely do a makeup storage collection sort of video here probably one day this week since that's organized a little bit better than it had been. So I hope everyone's having a good one. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel, leave your comments below, and have a great day.